This is some software I've been developing for a new piece for baritone saxophone and computer. You're looking at a Max MSP interface to generate a score using my Slippery Chicken software. Um, this is software written in Common Lisp. You can see on your screen now um, some code over here uh, for uh, generating the piece, for managing uh, the data and interfacing with the uh, slippery chicken methods to create scores, write MIDI files, etc. And over here on this side of the screen, you're looking at the uh, interface between Max MSP and Slippery Chicken, which runs over a UDP network or OSC messaging. So, what you can see here um, is various interface data to uh, the piece. So, for instance, an activity curve. This controls the activity of a rhythm chain generating algorithm which is unique to Slippery Chicken. You can see that we're pretty active at the beginning here, and then we have a sudden drop and a quite a quick rise here. So you can follow the curve of the activity throughout the piece. There's a sort of fundamental scale in an almost traditional sense to this piece, and uh, this scale can be transposed as we go through the piece. You can see we've got a gradual transition to scale um, the piece uh, from one to two. That's the intervals of the scale. Um, as we go through. There's also a scale offset which is effectively a transposition so we're going to start off with um, no trans well one semitone transposition at the beginning rising to four towards three quarters of the way through and then back to zero at the end. This is designed so that the player could um, interface with the software before they go on stage and maybe create a different version of the piece if they're brave enough. Let, let's try that now. Let's uh, reinitialize the piece using the uh, presets and the data which I've set up to, ge to generate the piece in a form that I imagine works well. Um, once we've done that, we can generate the piece and you can see the screen goes uh, red or the, the interface goes red while uh, Lisp is doing all the calculations necessary in Slippery Chicken. Um, once that's done, we can um, generate, and it's done now, we can generate a, a MIDI file of the piece. Um, and you can see that here. Um, and um, we'll maybe listen to that while we generate the score. This uses LilyPond in the background, and LilyPond is a great program, open source program for generating uh, scores. So Slippy Chicken writes the uh, text data and then Lily Pond uh, interprets that data to write the score. And that takes quite a while, as you'll see. So I'll I'll start that going while I'm talking. Um, we can have a little listen to the piece um, now while it's thinking. <laughs> So what I'm using here is um, contact player from Native Instruments with baritone saxophone main voice and three other different um, sample sets to just test the functionality of the MIDI generating file and the counterpoint involved in the piece. So I'll give you an idea. Let's let's stop that there and talk a little bit about the rest of the interface. Um, there's a sort of global transition involved in the piece, which is um, specified here, where you can move between three different registers in the baritone saxophone. At the moment, we're going to move from altissimo through to harmonics, lower harmonics, not the altissimo notes, and uh, onto low notes. But that could be in any permutation uh, represented here in this drop-down list. Then we've got um, a way of specifying the lowest note of uh, the baritone saxophone, the, the, the low register that we'll use. I'm using uh, A3 because that's what most modern baritone saxophones have, but it could also be uh, changed to uh, B sharp if we, if we don't have a, a baritone with a low A. Then we can also specify the lowest harmonic notes and the lowest altissimo notes in the same kind of way. And then we can also specify the number of sequences that we'd like to generate. And this in combination with the uh, activity curve will determine the length of the piece. You can see the score has actually just been generated. Um, and uh, that was uh, uh, about an eight minute piece, just under eight minutes. You can see down there, so we can scroll through the score here. 
and see the kind of counterpoint we've got going. So it's looking like it's going to be a 2021 uh, page score which has been generated on the fly now. Um, I'll go back to the interface a little bit. Um, we can also specify the tempo. This will just control the marking in the score and the speed of the um, playback in the MIDI file. Then we've also got the staff size, um, which controls just how big the notes are on the page. Um, the piece actually generates quarter tones in the low register of the saxophone, but we could actually force this to be um, uh, switched off if we, if we want and resolve to the nearest semitone. Um, that's it really, I suppose, except perhaps we should um, regenerate the piece with different data perhaps. Uh, let's look at one of these um, presets here. Okay, we're going to move from low harmonics uh, and through to altissimo registers here with different activity curves. So let's generate that piece, see what happens. Okay, we've got a 12 minute piece now and we'll, we'll generate the score. It's going to take a while again, so maybe I'll just um, play the MIDI file a little bit more while while we're we're waiting for that. What you heard just then was a low note, the first low note in the piece. Let's go back to the beginning, perhaps, and follow the score. Oops, now you can see that we've got a different piece coming out, so let's have a look at that. We've got a, a very big screen font for the um, notes and um, we've got a piece that's starting uh, low in the baritone sax and therefore it's starting high in the computer there and that would go on for quite a few pages I guess um, maybe if we just write the uh, MIDI file as well we could have a listen to that this is also a very slow tempo Perhaps not a version I'd use at that tempo, but at least um, it shows the possibilities of this piece. So some of the characteristics will remain throughout, especially the rhythmic characteristics and the overall feel, therefore, of, of, of the, the, the drive of the piece. But as you can see, the piece can change pretty radically with different configurations.